An update on a story we've been following for some time now. And older commuters and mums with prams are still struggling to get up and down stairs at some of Sydney's older train stations. Some are gradually being upgraded with lifts, but at one of the busiest, Punchbowl, they've apparently missed the train. John Hill has the story. Punchbowl station is well overdue for an upgrade. The state government spending $770 million on station improvements, but just not here. Mums with prams struggle to negotiate the 50 steps to the platform. It's pathetic. We definitely need lifts. This is going on for so many years. 83-year-old Hazel Davis is forced to take the stairs and says it's hard. Really hard, but it's worth getting down. Yeah. And, that, and I'm afraid I've got to do it. We've got no other transport. There are new stations being built around the rail system and more in the planning stages, such as Waterfall, which will get new lifts and improved facilities, and Oatley, where the government's planning a similar makeover. But look at daily passenger numbers and it's clear that Punchbowl should get priority. How can a station like Waterfall, that has a fraction of the population of uh, Punchbowl, get a lift and a ramp before Punchbowl does? It doesn't make sense. The government says Punchbowl hasn't been upgraded as yet because both stations either side of it already have lifts. The opposition says Punchbowl easily meets the criteria and commuters deserve better. When we're looking at which stations require upgrades, we look at a number of things, including the demographics, the age of the population, the number of people with a disability. They were promised a government that was going to fix the trains and fix the access problems on the rail network, and that's just not happening. There are currently no plans to install lifts at Punchbowl Station. John Hill, 10 News.